each other, right? Because you work together. We yes. do. Um, Haley is one of our best uh, youth advisory board members, and she is so humble, but she has done so much not only to help her own family be healthier, but to help educate other kids about how kids can really help their lives be healthier, but also influences the choices that their families make. And that's sort of how you got into healthy cooking, right? Was it family choice? Yes, um, my dad was diagnosed with type 2 diabetes in 2008. And at that point, I thought, you know, it's time to turn things around. Not only do I want my dad to get better, but also our whole family. And so we started cooking all sorts of healthy foods, really pulling out all sorts of creativity. And he is completely free of diabetes now. That's wonderful. And, and, just, and hey, just to be clear, how old were you in 2008? 2008, I was seven. So she started doing this work when she was seven years old. It's so empowering that a seven-year-old took this on. If Haley can do it, we can all do it. We can eat more healthfully. We can lower our diabetes, diabetes healthy diabetes rates. And, and it doesn't have to hurt. I love your message. You want food to be fun and tasty. You love dessert. You're going to show us a nice, healthy dessert today, yes. right? What so are you going to show us? We are making a blueberry peach quinoa crumble. It mm. is delicious. <laughs> How do you make it? Tell us, tell us. Okay, so basically what you'll do is you'll pre-cut all of your peaches, and then once that's all together, we'll add in some blueberries. And do you want Chelsea to stir? Yeah. You want to incorporate oh, wow. this for me? Incorporate, that's a very technical term. <laughs> okay, we, we don't use words like that in my kitchen, but we should, stir. I think. Stir. All right. okay. And then do you want her to add, what are those things? Yes, so we have some cane sugar here. Now, if your peaches are pretty sweet, you don't have to add it, but um, I'm just going to add some sugar. A little bit of cane sugar. Okay. All things in moderation, a yes. little bit is fine. Okay, and then I keep some... incorporating? Yes, keep okay. on incorporating. <laughs> Okay, and then some almond meal, which is gluten-free and kosher, so it's really delicious. Gluten-free and kosher. <laughs> Fabulous. <laughs> Beautiful. Then some cornstarch for... A little bit of cornstarch. A little bit of thickening. Okay, and some cinnamon. You want to mm. add this? Sure. Okay. Sprinkle on the cinnamon. All of it, sweetie? Yes. And you can sift this over if you want, but... It's really simple, just I think get simple in there. is good. Once she's incorporated, should we put it into the dish? Yes. <laughs> okay. okay. I, I don't so, know how I did. No, that looks great. Okay. So don't transfer it over. You're pretty strong. Okay. There we it's go. from all that work in the kitchen. Man, right. she makes some lettuce tacos that are <laughs> unbelievable. These stuffed, what, what was it? The shrimp in there. Curry oh, shrimp. curry yeah. shrimp. They were delicious. Okay, now what do we got over here? Okay, so we have some quinoa, and quinoa is one of my favorite grains. It's incredible. Heart healthy, delicious. We're also going to add... Kind of nutty tasting. Yeah. It's very yummy. And so it's going to be raw. I mean, it's baked, but mostly raw. And then we'll add in some almond meal. You love that almond meal. Yes. Some brown sugar. Wait, can I ask you, how did you figure out which ingredients you wanted to use? Well, I mean, it's usually flavor combinations for me. Whatever I Balance. love, I just mm -hmm. mix that together and find what goes really well. Yeah, you like to taste. Yes. You have to like to eat to like to cook, right? Absolutely. Makes sense. Okay, this is some ground up almonds, just raw almonds. To give it some texture. Yes, just a little crunch. Delicious. And then this is some finely ground um, flax seeds. Flax seeds have a great source of omega-3, which is really necessary for a normal... <laughs> <laughs> I know you want to just put her in your pocket. She's brilliant and she will make you healthier. Some nutmeg. A little nutmeg. I love nutmeg. Thank and you. And more cinnamon. Mm, okay. Beautiful. And I love cinnamon, so you have something in here for all of us. Yes. Beautiful. Okay, so we kind of crush that up, incorporate it in there. And then we more have... incorporating. I know. I'm learning all sorts of things. And then you crumble in a little bit of... Butter. So basically just cut in your butter into little squares. You know what I like about this is it's all things in moderation. Yes. It's okay to have a little bit of butter, but you're cooking gluten-free with lots of whole grains, lots of fresh fruit. You eat with your eyes first, and this is clearly going to be healthy. Hey, can I grab the one that's in the oven? Yes. Let me so get that. So we have that. one in the oven, but this is what the crumble looks like once you've got your hands in there and mash it all up. And gotcha. Right once you've incorporated. Yes. Look, so you look at wow. that, Chelsea. Look how, how gorgeous does oh, that it look? It smells as good as it looks. Oh, my God.